This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Rhonda Watch. Rhonda Shear, host of USA Up All Night, has just been located in the small but quite lovely Texas town of Grapevine. We now switch you to Jeb Morris in Grapevine. Jeb Morris here at the historic Grapevine Grand Opry, where a wayward Rhonda Shear has been holding up for the last 24 hours. After leaving New Orleans last Friday, Rhonda had been reported missing, and many had thought, good. As the world knows, she has been involved in a cross-country trek from L.A. to New York City, the new location of her Up All Night show. As you can see, she has taken an obscure route east called the Tequila Trail. Which brings us to Grapevine and Rhonda Shear's one-woman presentation, Pussy Galore, The Life and Times of Siegfried and Roy, based on the idea that most guys would gladly shell out $30 a ticket just to watch a busty blonde talk to a stuffed animal. And with her mother in the audience, you know Rhonda is going all out. Happy once again to report that Rhonda Shear has been found. We now return you to the regularly scheduled Duckman episode. I'm Jeb Morris. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. As was reported earlier, Rhonda Shear, previously thought missing en route to New York, has been found. Now Jeb Morris in Grapevine, Texas. When the news that Rhonda Shear had been found hit the air, a huge sigh of relief was heard around the world. But nowhere as loud or as huge as in Grapevine, Texas, where the locals had been praying that the message would get out. What began as a trip to find her relatives has resulted in a spontaneous performance of Pussy Galore, the life and times of Siegfried and Roy. As we join Act Two, a drunken Roy has just returned from the 4-H fair, only to be attacked by a jealous tiger demanding to know why he has livestock on his breath. Not many can pull this off without looking foolish, and I, for one, agree. From Grapevine, Texas, this is Jeb Morris. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. The Ronda Watch. As previously reported, the missing Rhonda Shear has been located alive and somewhat well in Grapevine, Texas. Apparently, she interrupted her trek east in order to find her roots in this small Texas town. This was the scene earlier today. Despite court orders, Ms. Shear mounted yet another assault on the Grapevine Beauty College, where she'd been expelled just three credits shy of graduation during the Carter administration. Officials say Rhonda headed a sorority that engaged in illegal hazing practices. Most notably, one that involved six exchange students, a left-handed spatula, and a lubricated dachshund. The Dean's lubricated dachshund. And so even though school's out for sheer, the controversy continues. From Grapevine, I'm Jeb Morris, USA Up All News. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Ronda Watch. As was reported earlier, Rhonda Shear has been found. Now Jeb Morris in Grapevine, Texas. Here in Texas, Rhonda Shear continues her one-woman tour de force, Pussy Galore, The Life and Times of Siegfried and Roy. We've now entered the emotionally charged Act Three, Christmas 1965. Siegfried buys a merry widow for his tiger, only to be crushed when the tiger viciously reveals that not only did he get the wrong size, but it is something the tiger would only wear for Roy. Not a dry eye in the house. From Grapevine, I'm Jeb Morris. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin.
With her long search to find a relative in Texas finally at an end, Rhonda Shear prepares to meet face to face with her uncle Gilmore, the man that many in the scientific community call the father of the mechanical hamster. An air of anticipation hangs in the air as she summons up the courage to greet the man who cared for her, raised her, and chased her with that mechanical hamster. This is a very human, very special moment, and we're here to capture the magic. Get the hell out of here! It's a start. At least there was no gunfire this time. From Grapevine, Texas, I'm Jeb Morris. This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Ronda Watch. As was reported earlier, Rhonda Shear's mysterious disappearance since New Orleans has been solved. With more on the Rhonda Watch, Jeb Morris in Grapevine, Texas. Welcome back to the Grapevine Grand Opry and Rhonda Shear's Pussy Galore, The Life and Times of Siegfried and Roy, a play even more disturbing when it's actually performed. And as we join Act Four, Siegfried has opened a stud farm for tigers, and in the play's one moment of dramatic license, Siegfried seductively dances to get the big cat in the mood. Unfortunately, the tiger develops feelings only for Siegfried, and the stud farm like the off-Broadway run of the play, closed in a week. More from Grapevine as it comes in. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Ronda Watch. Hello once again from Grapevine, Texas. I'm Jeb Morris here in a packed house watching Rhonda Shear electrify with her radical interpretation of mental health. But this triumphant homecoming belies a past that wasn't always so rosy for Rhonda. Grapevine, Texas. A town with a history. A town with a backhoe. And at one time, a town with a certain young girl with a curious fashion sense. Rhonda Shear. No one knew where she came from, but one thing was certain. Someone had to keep her from doing her own shopping. And that someone was Robert Pedigree, a local tavern owner with a heart of gold and a soft spot in his head. According to letters, Pedigree cared for the young girl until he contracted a rare lip disorder. She then found herself with the owners of the local feed store, the Sanchez family a respected grapevine family with a history of going through a lot of pets. In an effort to find herself, Shear then apparently opted to become a boy for several years, until her habit of dressing like a girl really clouded up the issue. Apparently it was around this time that Shear left Grapevine for good, but she never forgot the town that taught her the meaning of fear. And now she's back, hoping to pay a visit to the people here who made her childhood so memorable. If this presentation is any indication of what's to come, it could get ugly before long. On the Ronda Watch, I'm Jeb Morris. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Ronda Watch. Strange as it may seem, Rhonda Shear, host of USA Up All Night, is currently in Grapevine, Texas. Her motives? She's seeking advice from family before moving to New York. What's she doing now? Her one-woman play, Pussy Galore, The Life and Times of Siegfried and Roy. As we join Act 5, in progress, Roy discovers that the tiger not only has a drinking problem, but is bow-legged, the stress of which causes Siegfried to whistle to himself. A lot. 
and they say the theater is dead. From the Opry and Grapevine, I'm Jeb Morris. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. It won't be here for me forever, but I've had a plan all along, and I'd like to share it with you. That's snow cones. My life dream is snow cones, but I'm going to change the name. I'm really excited. I'm going to call it Rhonda's Snow Cones. My snow cone stand is going to be different than all the others. A service window. Did you see that air conditioning unit? I'm going to take that out. I'm going to put a big aquarium in with real fish. We're talking glass, real glass. Bulletproof, real rock gravel, shipped in from Amarillo. The sign, closed for the season. In my stand, we don't, we don't talk down to our customers. We like everything explained. It's real grapevine wood, the real stuff. We're not talking plastic here, we're talking wood. So we're gonna fix the whole thing up. The balcony, it's gonna be all new. These flavors will be gone. I'm gonna give it a West Coast feeling. Avocado, salsa. Mesquite. Oh, grilled ice is the biggest thing going on right now in Los Angeles. Nachos and cheese. Look, the shrubberies, look how well they're, they're growing. They're, they're, they're coming up for the season. Greenery and the cigarette butts add a nice dimension, don't you think? Oh, I am going to put some lights in. You see, they're not, there's no lights in there now in those little holes, but they'll be pink. My white wall. We put your business card right on the window. How do you like that? Didi's Flores. Dutch tractor service. What do you think? Good. Look, my first customer. We're not open yet, okay? Come back in the summer. There they go. They're so disappointed. Oh, I'm, I'm currently repainting the post. <laughs> Forgive the renovations, but work is in progress. When I first bought the place, I wanted to take the electrical lines and make it into swings for kids to enjoy themselves and play in the backyard, but the town's sort of holding me up on that. Light show. I'm going to leave this the way it is, because I like it this way. Earthy, homey, um, historic, sort of. Should I copyright it? I thought of it. We are going to leave this, because that is going to be the first ride for the kiddies. Won't they have a ball? It's going to be just fabulous, but yet quaint. A meeting place for everyone. Everyone, the family can enjoy it. Young couples can enjoy it. You can enjoy it. You're all invited to the grand opening. Well, after. Up oh, all night is no longer. This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Rhonda Watch. As had been reported, Rhonda Shear has been located, alive though a little deranged, in Grapevine, Texas. And in an attempt to find her heritage in this small town, Miss Shear blundered into the Grapevine Heritage Center, a local craft store. I come from a long line of hookers. and Here she became convinced that she'd found a sheer family reunion, herding confused shoppers to a round table where they were forced to listen to her talk. My mother was the babe of the family. I mean, total babe. And, well, what can I say? She was more popular than any one of you. During the tense three-hour siege, Sheer forced the frightened women to pretend they were family and terrorized them into hooking rugs. How much do you think I could get for this right now? What do you think? What do you think? Well, Police believe this is the only thing that kept the delusional Sheer from becoming violent and looking for the tattoo needles. I'm bleeding. I'm ble what do you do when you bleed? Do you ever bleed when you hook? Um, I'm not quite sure how to get the hook out of my finger. The brave hostages played along with Shear's insanity until the blonde suddenly stood up, bolted to the Grapevine Depot, and attempted to pull some trains together. Police made no effort to stop her. From Grapevine, I'm Jeb Morris. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin.
This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Rhonda Watch. We're still here in Grapevine, Texas, savoring the once-in-a-lifetime performance of Rhonda Shear's one-woman show, Pussy Galore, The Life and Times of Siegfried and Roy. And in a 47-minute scene that still begs for attention, Rhonda, as Siegfried, attempts to psych the tiger out in a gutsy staring contest. Or it could be that Rhonda is getting telepathic messages from a stuffed tiger. Either way, it's going on TV. From her hometown, depending on who you ask, I'm Jeb Morris. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. Next on The Prying Eye, she's Rhonda Shear, host of a popular television show, USA Up All Night. But this beautiful, bubbly blonde is also host to an even deeper, darker, uglier secret, a beastly secret. As an infant, Rhonda Shear was left in the backwoods of Grapevine, Texas to fend for herself. And when no one would take her in, she was raised by a pair of angry Scotties. Rhonda Shear, if Scotties could talk. From all fours to beauty queen, here for the first time, the truth about Rhonda Shear's lost years in Texas and the Scotties that adopted her as their own. I hated when she came over for dinner. I couldn't keep her from chewing the furniture. <laughs> she beat my wife. For a small three, they did a good job of raising that girl, I thought. Never told her about puberty, though. That was strange. But then we didn't know any better back then. Rhonda Shear, if Scotties could talk. On the next Prying Eye. This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Rhonda Watch. Hello once again, I'm Jeb Morris in Grapevine, Texas, where Rhonda Shear, host of USA Up All Night, has suspended her journey to New York to reach out to the family and friends she hasn't seen for years by performing her one-woman show, Pussy Galore, The Life and Times of Siegfried and Roy. She's just begun Act 7, Depression in Aspen, where the unlucky Roy has broken his leg after hitting a mogul. He later discovers that the mogul was Melanie Griffith, lying face down in the snow. She'd been looking at all the colors. Open your eyes, America. There's a new name for talent, and its name is Rhonda Shear. From Grapevine, Texas, I'm Jeb Morris. I guess I can get another one. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. For Rhonda Shear, the quest to find her family bloodline leads to only one conclusion. If she's ever to find her next of kin, she must place an ad in the Grapevine Sun, the local newspaper. Hi, how are you? Fine, how are you? Okay, I'd like to take a personal ad out with the Grapevine Sun. Is it okay? Okay. All what right. What would you like to say? Okay, just take note. All right. Rhonda Shear is looking for all of her relatives in Grapevine. No, wait, wait, take that, take that back, let me change that. Rhonda Shear is looking for all of her relatives that have put her in their will. No, 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 that's not good. I am not interested in any relatives with tattoos. Tattoo less, please. Tattoo what? Tattoo less. Less? Yes. Rhonda Shear is looking for Rhonda Shear, world famous TV star, is back in town looking for relatives who will help me paint my apartment. A tasteful moth. A taste of what? A tasteful moth. Would you please make sure that Sandra returns my fall, my skirt? I will certainly try to put that in there for you. My fall, my skirt, my pumps. 
And my boyfriend. She took my boyfriend. Could you take out every other word just to condense it? You know, like all the in -thes. Just the important words like Sandra, wig, boyfriend, good car. Well, we have a problem with that in that people would understand. My relatives will understand. My relatives will understand that. Trust me. Is looking for relatives for long romantic walks along the beach. Oh, wait, that's the wrong ad. I'm sorry. I just got caught up in the moment. Forget that one. Scratch this whole page out. Do you have another page? I think so. Well, we can do that. Can you just smoosh it all together? Mm, yes, if that's the way you would argue. All caps. All caps. All caps? All caps. I have two pictures. I have a serious one like this, and I have this one. Which one do you think my relatives would like? The smile. Okay. You sure it doesn't have to work for USA Network? No, ma'am. Rhonda Shear is looking for relatives with metal plates in their head who have made it through security at the airport. Um, do you want that in there? Do I want that in there? Mm -hmm. I want everything that I say in there, of course. Right. If I say it, it's important. Could you read that back now? I want to make sure everything is perfect. Well, hmm, that may pose a problem since um, it is uh, quite lengthy and I've made so many different uh, uh, changes in it, but let's give it a stay. Okay. And so with today's uh, results just as unsuccessful as yesterday's, Rhonda will soon leave, only to return tomorrow to resume the hunt and do it all over again, just the same way. Same office, same routine, and another eight-hour workday will be shot to hell. You'd think the son would just learn to lock the door. Fabulous. This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News, tracing the movements of Rhonda Shear's cross-country trek to New York City. From Grapevine, Texas, Jeb Morris. Thanks, Aldo. Yes, America, the play that won't die continues. We're still here in the Grapevine Opry watching Rhonda Shear's Pussy Galore, The Life and Times of Siegfried and Roy, a one-woman show about two men who wear their beauty on their sleeves. And in a scene inspired by the Raymond Burr aerobics workout, Roy discovers the secret to popping wheelies. Never try it on the front tires. A lesson we can all live with. From Grapevine, I'm Jeb Morris. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. The Run. As has been reported, Rhonda Shear apparently interrupted her trek east in order to find her roots in the small Texas town of Grapevine. She celebrated the event with a press conference in front of the Grand Opry, home to some of her greatest triumphs. As the throngs gathered to greet Miss Shear, this was the scene earlier today. It's so great to be here at the Grand Opry in Grapevine, Texas. Thank you all so much for coming here today to help me find my lost relatives. This has always been a great town, a wonderful town, a great state. Thank you so much. I'm honored and privileged to be amongst all of you. Now, are there any questions from the press? Any questions? Is there Denny's around here? <sighs> Maybe not the hype that she expected, but at least she was asked a question and she Thank didn't get towed much. again. To a woman Thank searching you. for a family that specializes Thank in you. hiding, that spells victory. From Grapevine, Texas, I'm Jeb Morris. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. Dear Uncle Abdul and Aunt Beulah, hope you come to see me in my little calaboose. Your favorite niece, Rhonda.
This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Rondo Watch. Now over to Jeb Morris. I am the Welcome back to the Grand Opry in Grapevine, Texas, where Rhonda Shear has just begun Act 9 of Pussy Galore, The Life and Times of Siegfried and Roy, a play that originally featured real house cats, until Rhonda discovered that real cats aren't reusable. At this point in the story, the boys hit the road for fame and fortune as the tiger heads off to a baggage claim area in a different airport. I'm Jeb Morris in Grapevine, Texas. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. <laughs> This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Ronda Watch. Welcome back to the Grand Opry in Grapevine, Texas. Here, Rhonda Shear continues her masterful performance of Pussy Galore, the life and times of Siegfried and Roy. At this point, Roy attempts to cheer up a suicidal tiger by tap dancing. Those of you who remember this real event should really think about getting out a little more. I'm Jeb Morris from Grapevine, Texas. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Ronda Watch. We're back at the Opry in Grapevine, where Rhonda Shear is wowing the house with an exciting program of interpretive shadow dancing. Either that or our cameraman is passed out and Rhonda is just to the right, out of frame. We now return you to USA Up All Night and its regularly scheduled feature, Party Incorporated. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News, The Ronda Watch, tracing the delusional movements of Ronda Shear's cross-country trek to New York City. Now over to Jeb Morris in Grapevine, Texas. We're still here at the Grapevine Grand Opry enjoying Rhonda Shear's one-woman tribute, Pussy Galore, The Life and Times of Siegfried and Roy. And here's an interesting side note. The original production also featured a live but underfed Bengal tiger. Current litigation prevents any further discussion other than sincere apologies to the Shipman family. From Grapevine, Texas, I'm Jeb Morris. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Ronda Watch. We're still here in Grapevine, Texas, enjoying Rhonda Shear's one-woman tribute, Pussy Galore, The Life and Times of Siegfried and Roy. 
As Act 12 opens, the brothers' constant bickering has led the tiger to give two weeks' notice and find work with Gunther Gable Williams. Here, Siegfried makes an attempt at tough love while an angry tiger is about to go off his vegetarian diet. From Grapevine, I'm Jeb Morris. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin, The Ronda Watch. We now return you to the USA Up All Night movie, Party Incorporated. This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Ronda Watch. Yes, we're still here at the Grapevine Grand Opry, where Rhonda Shear is performing her heart out to a packed aisle seat. A virtual titan on stage, Shear's a ball of fire ever since her afternoon stroll through town earlier today. Rhonda had her afternoon siesta in her favorite childhood playground, the town hearse. It was here that as a child, Rhonda spent carefree hours hiding, playing, and climbing under corpses, making them wave to local officials on the way to the cemetery. Shear then used her own camera to capture the emotional reunion with the two locals that raised her after she was left in the woods as an infant. Two angry Scotties. Although now senile, the two angry Scotties responded to their adopted daughter by barking a lot and sniffing each other till they collapsed from exhaustion. The same life skills that Sheer herself has used from time to time. And then it was off to the woodcarver for another yearly installment of her life sculpture. Commissioned by Rhonda ten years ago, the carver has been working non-stop since as a plumber. However, the down-and-dirty Rhonda knockoffs he does make seem to move briskly in a market starved for doorstoppers. Of course, the one place she avoided completely was the gazebo. As Grapevine's first performance artist, Rhonda once used the gazebo extensively. One day, while biting the head off of yet another squirrel, nature fought back. What followed next was a blur. Finally, Shear decided to treat herself to the breakdown she so desperately deserved by reliving her days as hostess at Sweet Willie's Cajun Kitchen. A popular grapevine hotspot, it inexplicably vanished one night. Officials would only say that it got bored and imploded, while Shear believes it was abducted by aliens. Either way, she wasn't getting her fair share of tips. From Grapevine, Texas, I'm Jeb Morris. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Ronda Watch. Tracing the delusional movements of Ronda Shear's cross-country trek to New York City. Now over to Jeb Morris in Grapevine, Texas. We're here in the Grapevine Grand Opry, a theater with a history of adventurous entertainment and unread eviction notices. We're witnessing a legend in the making as Ronda Shear mounts her one-woman play Pussy Galore, The Life and Times of Siegfried and Roy. And here in Act 13 is a reenactment of Roy trying to lure an elephant into the act, and in a surprise twist, the tiger luring the elephant into some farm machinery. From Grapevine, I'm Jeb Morris. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. It's been hours now since Rhonda showed up in Grapevine. Anonymous tips have proved frustratingly vague. 
and the effort to meet up with a relative in Grapevine that will actually be seen with Rhonda is difficult. Fruitless hours of searching only turn up an old lover of Rhonda's. Now an employee at an Indian jewelry store, the meeting is tense. Okay, you know when we were in the movie theater and I walked out, I really wanted to come back. But the guy at the popcorn counter was just so cute and he had the cutest Corvette. I'm really sorry, do you understand? I mean, it's been a long time and I didn't know you were gonna die and they were gonna stuff you and leave you like this. I mean, I never would have done that to you, never. I mean, if you died so young. Talk to me, Keith, talk to me, do something. Smile, all right? You don't wanna respond, you don't wanna respond? I didn't mean to leave you that way. I didn't mean to walk out on you at that movie theater. You were a fabulous boyfriend. You gave and gave and gave, and I took and took and took, and I, I was wrong, but that other guy had the best Corvette in the whole world. I mean, it was cool, it was convertible, it was red, but he wasn't anything like you, Keith. As a matter of fact, even though you're dead, you're just as stiff as you always were. Firm. Well, Keith, you always had money on you. I appreciate it. I'm going to catch a taxi home. Love you. And as fate raises its erratic hand and slaps another sap into reality, Rhonda moves off to complete her mission in Grapevine, leaving yet another victim of love in her wake. Unable to think. Unable to move. Unable to love. Why? because he's dead, but at least he's working. This is a special bulletin from USA Up All News. The Rhonda Watch. Tracing the delusional movements of Rhonda Shear's cross-country trek to New York City. Now over to Jeb Morris in Grapevine, Texas. We're here in the Grapevine Grand Opry, and we're being blessed by a performance that shook the world when it first appeared in a packed pizza hut off-Broadway. It's Rhonda Shear in her one-woman, one-stuffed animal play, Pussy Galore, The Life and Times of Siegfried and Roy. This is the show's finale, and everyone is happy. For a lot of reasons. I'm Jeb Morris from Grapevine, Texas. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin.
tracing the delusional movements of Rhonda Shear's cross-country trek to New York City. Now over to Jeb Morris in Grapevine, Texas. We're back at the Grapevine Grand Opry, where Rhonda Shear has just finished all 14 acts of her play, Pussy Galore, The Life and Times of Siegfried and Roy, to a thunderous ovation. She's currently enthralling the audience with select readings from another Grapevine local, Joe Bob Briggs. You can hear a pin drop. It's that good. is the meaning of life. This has been a USA Up All News special bulletin. Well, not only do we bring you two exciting films and Duck Band, but we also brought you Grapevine, Texas. Be back next week when we'll do more of the same thing. Until then, it's Rhonda right here on USA Up All Night. Nighty night.